Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure. Well, there is a figure there, but here we have a new review. Everything's all weird. I'm even using my cell phone, which I don't normally like to do. Uh, but this one's kind of a special video because this is not something I would normally do, not something I would normally collect. But here um, we have it anyway. This is the WWE, the Mattel WWE Ultimate Edition Attitude Era Ring. And as you can see, this thing is huge. It comes with Kane. Um, I'm shaking everything. Um, it just came in from uh, Mattel Creations. So initially the pre-order says May or whatever, um, but it arrived uh, today. And I think Ringside Collectibles actually had some in stock. So here's a standard um, Ultimate Edition package. And you can see how much larger this is. There is a cane figure that comes with this ring. It does not have exactly the same type of package here, but I'm sure you guys probably all are aware of that. Uh, but this one I am very excited for. I don't normally, you know, do wrestling stuff, but I have picked up some stuff here and there. Uh, but the ring is just awesome, and especially when you have it into scale. Like, they have the cheap $10, $20, whatever those rings are, all hard plastic and everything. Uh, but this thing is really damn cool. I, I low-key regret not backing the um, the new generation arena um, because... The ring was just really awesome. The way it's constructed, the way it's put together, how realistic it looks. Um, so I was always kind of like, kind of regretful a little bit that I didn't back that ring. I didn't care for the new gen um, colorway and, and design. I don't need the light up entrance or anything like that. Um, but it was really cool. Uh, when I first started collecting, when I was first going through my divorce... One thing that I was doing, I was I was into wrestling figures quite a bit, and I always wanted to get like all the all all of the different accessories, like the video camera, the backstage setup area, because I, I, at one point I wanted to have like a whole arena and everything. And the sca the rings at that time they had like the elite scale ring, big lots had gotten them, but I was never able to get my hands on one. Um, and that was such a long time ago, even then. Uh, but now I actually have a ring, and it's going to be pretty cool. So join me um on this journey of this new uh part of my collecting with like the wrestling figures and things like that i won't collect everything i'll get things here and there um but uh this is pretty cool and here we have the ring so i i will try to do this as as much as step by step as i can um with you guys to go over everything in this ring so uh let's go ahead and get it started okay so i've opened the box and here we can see a couple of things i see you know, some of the wood planks for the ring. I see the cane figure and everything kind of right off the bat. So let's go ahead and pull that out. So we have it in here. It is just a regular standard cardboard box, no window packaging or everything or anything. And it's a very rectangular box and not at all like the Ultimate Editions. And as you can see, size wise, it's a hell of a lot smaller. Now, I think what they had said though is that they did part of the box so you can have them like a lot of people do their ultimate editions library style and like from there it's the same essentially right so if you have it library style and you look at the spine it's basically the same except these ultimate editions are a much taller box so you always get kind of this section up here so that is a big difference there unfortunately so for some of you guys that might may kind of suck uh, but let's go ahead and uh, open this. I'm going to have to cut that tape. So I guess we're going to have to hold off on that a little bit. We can take a look at what we can pull out of here. So there are our ring skirt, not the skirts, the ring ropes and the turnbuckles. And the turnbuckles look pretty damn awesome. I like that. Uh, let's see here. We have these wood planks. And these are crazy looking. I love the wood grain design and style on them. It looks like all three planks are the same though they're all the same so not going to be any different between difference between those three uh here this box looks like this is our ring canvas and the ring skirts so holy moly man these are nice look how wide those are these are really nice that fabric yeah, this is cool. This is nice. Really, really nice. So here is the ring canvas. And as you can see, it's rolled up, which is a smart decision because I think that prevents all the folds and stuff. And I think that was an issue with some of the previous rings either. I don't think I don't know about the ones made by Battelle, but definitely the uh, the Wicked Cool Toys um, authentic scale ring, I think is what they called it. Let's see what else we got here. 
Okay, so an instruction sheet. That would have been nice to take a look at at first. So this is how we put it together and everything like that. I don't know if I'm going to do the video showing you guys exactly how to build it. But we'll have to take a look. There's definitely more to come even inside that box. So this is all the underneath pieces that hold and support the ring. Oh, plus the corner posts there. And then all the way on this other side, we've got... Okay, so here are the black ring steps. And these are really damn nice too. Holy crap. I know some figures come with like the like the, the stainless steel or gray piece of this. Um, but it's nice to actually have the full set portion. Look at that. And it clamps together to hold in place to go in the corner. That's really nice. I like that a lot. And then I guess these are some more of the support structures for the ring. So uh, a bunch of stuff. Um, but a few different steps to go together to put the ring. So I might kind of get this started and then show some clips and stuff as a work in progress type of thing. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. Actually, before we build out the ring, let's go ahead and take a look at the cane figure. So I cut the tape um, and it is just in a plastic tray. And there is the ultimate edition cane. I do not have the red and black version since this is the black and red version i don't have that other release uh that came out i wanted to get it and then i noticed some weird thing with the elbow i think and then the face mask but i know that they actually made replacements and i think they were sending them out i think ringside collectibles even at one time was selling it uh but this is a pretty damn cool figure i don't have a whole lot of uh open wwe figures i have an ultimate edition rock and an ultimate edition brock lesnar um, so I'll kind of take a look with those. I have a few others that I haven't opened yet and I haven't, not sure what I'm going to do with them. Uh, but this cane is looking really damn cool. The red and black is, is classic, but this black and red, I always thought looked really damn cool and he didn't wear it super often. Um, but damn, it looks really nice, really good looking figure. Here's a quick up close look at the cane figure. Yeah, that is really nice. I like the, like the netting right there so you can kind of see through how they have a different red in there. That's crazy. The gloss boots, the gloss black on his mask. Yeah, really good looking figure. Okay, so I have everything laid out here um, to ho hopefully kind of piece it together. I don't think I could show the entire video process of putting everything together, um, but I will kind of show... Uh, some steps so checking out some really cool things looking at the turnbuckles look how awesome and detailed these are they are cloth they have a little foam padding in there just incredible detail that i'm really really excited about looking at some of these beam pieces they all look really good i just have to go through step by step on building it so i'm going to start here piece that together so first i'm going to put these pieces together and we'll take a look at how big it's going to be if i can even fit in frame which i don't think i can um, but we'll kind of take it step by step a little bit so i could show you guys a little bit of the assembly process but not the whole thing okay so the easy thing is these pieces literally just kind of um port into each other and snap into place like so super easy okay so as you can see size size wise this thing is like insane size. It's just kind of crazy. So onto the next step, uh, the wood planks. Okay, easy enough. You got these uh, pegs and these peg holes all over the place and they'll just port right on in. Okay, so I got one in onto the next one and you're just gonna push down to secure the wood planks. Push down, push down, push down. Got it, got it. Okay, like so, but there's no support underneath. That'll be um, after, in the next two steps. First, we're gonna get that canvas on. So we're gonna have to flip this thing over, it looked like, I think. Or am I skipping a step? Uh, I'm supposed to lay out the canvas, then flip this over. So let's do that. Okay, so we have the canvas laid out. You know what I didn't do? I don't think I, I didn't really snap all these in place fully. Um, okay, that's better. So then we're going to place the ring on top. And then you see all these holes in the canvas. There are these pegs. We just loop it 
through, which is easy enough when starting, but I think we're going to have to kind of get our stretch on as we go through the rest of the canvas. So one by one until it's all done. Okay, so here, as you can see a closer look on how we do this, you just pull the fabric over and then get that peg in there like so. Okay, so next we have these stabilizers. So the short ones will go on the ends uh, under the ring apron, and then these larger ones will go on the wood planks themselves. Voila, all the support is now in place. So it looks like we can flip this over. And then we have our ring. You can kind of see, so under bright light, you could see through the fabric and you could see the wood planks. Not a big deal at all, like especially if you're gonna do photography and display and whatnot, that won't be an issue. Uh, the next step is going to be the corner posts, so they're just going to pour it in there like so. So the next three. Just to give you an idea of the size, here are some Ultimate Edition figures and how large this ring is. Uh, the next step is going to be the ring apron, so it looks pre pretty easy enough. We get these um, little loops there, and we're going to put that, whoop, I had two. So we're just going to put this over. the corner post i guess but i feel like wouldn't it have been easier to put these on first and then put the corner post but i guess not so the, this little elastic band you can easily stretch it to go over the turn the corner post oh yeah and that looks really good size wise and everything I like the way it looks. So now to do the other sides because we have the one side done. Oops. Trial and error, folks. There you go. We get the corner post back on and we have it like so. Okay, so now we have all the ring skirts on and those all look really good. The next is going to be the turnbuckle pieces, which doesn't seem too bad. The turnbuckles are actually already, it's a full like round rope. So it's, it's all together. Uh, so basically, we just have to loop these, the turnbuckles, into each corner post. Uh, should be easy enough. One weird thing, though, is one has a tag on there, and that's going to be ugly. So I'm definitely going to put that and use this one as the bottom rope. Yeah, that was easy. Nice elasticity to it. Not too tight, not too loose. I like it. One thing to note, one of them is stuck on there, so you really should start with that one before uh, putting on the turnbuckles. That way, once you get one on... You can move these around as needed to then stretch over to get your other one hooked or unhooked like I just did. Let's try that again, shall we? Boom, like so. And then just, again, move these turnbuckles over until you get into the next post. And you can get all four corners put together. And there is our completed ring with the ropes. I will get to a different angle so we can show you guys and see how everything works out but here figure along the rope so you can see like size wise how it looks but i'll get a better angle for you guys but damn this ring is massive okay so here is the ring setup i got my raw uh is jericho figure on there that's one of my favorite figures um i don't think it's the best chris jericho head sculpt but it's it's still a really good figure from um, an awesome time during the Attitude Era, and he's got the awesome barbed wire tights. Uh, the Kane figure in the ring. Um, so yes, this thing is just crazy massive. You can see the size of the Ultimate Edition uh, box there. The ring ropes almost come up to the height of that box. It's taller than the Kane box um, that this figure came with. Uh, but the ring is pretty damn awesome. It's, it's sturdy. Uh, the ropes have some nice give to them. Uh, the only thing is like the apron portion, right? It's supposed to be, whoops, there goes my Jericho figure. It's supposed to be the hardest part of the ring, but it doesn't leave a whole lot of space in between. So if anything, if the turnbuckles would have come out a little bit further, it'd probably be a little bit more real life accurate, I would say. Um, but still a really, really nice ring. It just blows away any of the cheap, you know, $10, $20 rings, however much they cost. Um, obviously they shouldn't, it really shouldn't be able to compare because we're talking about something that's $140 versus $20. Um, but I love the, the, that it's actually in scale with the figures. So you can actually do all the crazy things that we get to see on TV on Raw or SmackDown. 
Um, so it, it's it's really nice. It's it's it, it's kind of like shocking how how good it really is because I didn't really know what to expect. Um, but I love like the the realness to it, you know, with the wood planks because you know it is made with wood under there, and then you have the canvas that goes on top and everything like that. Uh, but it's just done so nice. Like the ring skirts uh, are done really nice. Uh, the ropes are awesome. The turnbuckles are like mind blowingly awesome. Uh, the ring steps, just the little things like that are just really, really cool. Um, and I love the way it looks and everything. The problem is it's just so damn big that it, it's like it, impossible to display anywhere, anywhere. It truly is because you can't really have a shelf to do it because the thing is like 21 inches uh, wide square. So it's like, how can you realistically display this anywhere? Um, and that's, that's really tricky. That's really tough. And I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, but the ring is awesome. If you can figure out space, it's really the way to go. When you look at like photography, figure photography and those that do with wrestling figures, you know, when you have the ring and the whole arena set up and everything and it just looks, the images and the pictures are just look awesome. Um, and this is the ring to really be able to do that because you you just can't replicate, you know, any of that with one of the other rings. You just can't. Um, so this is the way to go. And I love that, you know, the apron itself, it doesn't have the folds in the canvas and the fabric and everything. Um, so I am absolutely loving this ring. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a little bit more of a closer look at some of the figure things. And then we'll do uh, we'll check out uh, Kane and do a full review on him. Okay, so we'll go through um, and review the cane figure. So he does come with two head sculpts. We have one where the hair is just hanging down and he kind of has the slick back hair where you can see his ears. Uh, but they look pretty good. What I like about it is the hair is nice and pliable and soft. Uh, but the articulation on wrestling figures I'm not too used to, so we'll have to go through this together. Not really a whole lot of pivot going on in there. He's really not going to be able to look up. Looking down is pretty darn limited as well, but you can do a full rotation in there. And the hair is so soft that you can actually move it around, which is good. So ultimate addition articulation. So we get the arm, the shoulder to go up that much. You do get a full rotation in there. We have a butterfly joint, as you can see, it could go back so far and can come forward a little bit so you can get a little bit of that cross body, which is important when trying to reach out, reach over for like choke slam purposes, that sort of thing. We have an upper bicep swivel in here. We get solid uh, double jointed elbows that are pinless, so a little bit more than 90 degrees. Wrist swivel, and they do have a standard uh, horizontal hinge there diaphragm cut semi loose on the cane it's not terrible but it is a little loose he can pivot to his left that much not a whole lot he can pivot to his right that much decent amount goes back a little bit comes forward um, a little bit as well you get a waist swivel in there and a swivel at that diaphragm cut as well this cane does not have the drop down hips unfortunately but he can spread his legs that far he can kick forward that far not a huge amount leg doesn't go back at all you have an upper thigh cut in there you get a double jointed knee that is not pinless they just do pinless um, elbows uh, there is a boot swivel there foot uh, hinges only a little bit hinges up a little bit you have toe articulation on the ultimate edition stuff and a pretty weak ankle pivot like very 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 little pivot going on in the ankles um, but uh, not terrible. I do really like the Ultimate Edition figures, but the newer ones, and then again, Kane, because this is essentially a repaint, but the newer ones, so you have like this Brock Lesnar that is just awesome because it has the drop-down hips, and that is something that they'll be doing with all new Ultimates going forward, um, and so this thing is just a solid release. I really like this Brock Lesnar figure, but um, the Kane uh, is definitely a solid entry um, into my collection since I don't have a whole lot of Ultimate Edition figures. Um, so I am really liking it, but you guys let me know what do you think of the WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition figures. Okay, so that is the review as I brighten it up here so you can see. That is the review of the WWE Ultimate Edition Attitude Era ring. Um, I I love the ring. It's just, man, it's so big. I have to really figure out where it's going to go. Uh, but if you are in need of a ring for display purposes, for photography purposes, whatever the case may be, this is absolutely the best ring that they have released so far. If you have the new generation era, new gen era, whatever it's called, if you have that one, that was the crowdfund 
thing that Mattel Creations did. If you have that ring, it's the same exact ring, but you get the different color ropes, the different ring skirts and things like that. Um, but this is an awesome, awesome ring. I'll have a link in the video description below uh, for the Mattel Creations listing. It, you know, they listed it as a pre-order. It was supposed to come out in May, but here we are at the end of February um, and I have it. And then Ringside Collectibles just had it in stock a few days ago. I'm not sure if they still do, but I will have a link in the video description below if it is in stock. Uh, but awesome, awesome ring. Very, very happy to have it. I have no regrets, but at the same time, I still have to figure out what the hell I'm going to do with it because, damn, I just really really don't know uh, but i am very happy with it but again you guys let me know what you think of the ring down in the comments below if you guys like this video please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already done so hit that join button to become a channel member and be a part of the mcu collective and as always thank you for watching